Hey guys, it's JD from Ponzo World, and today we're unboxing and reviewing this insect killer made by Aspect Tech. Now this is a $40 insect killer that you can find on Amazon. Links will be in the description below. And basically this one, again, right here, you can see here it's the indoor insect killer, 20 watts with uh, two extra bulbs, as you can see right there. So that's pretty cool. So in case one of these burns out, or in this case, both of them, you can just simply swap in these and this thing could be probably going for another year of continuous use. I don't know exactly how long these tubes last, but I would assume a pretty long time. Um, anyway, so I guess I'll go and start with uh, showing you around the box here. I already showed you guys up here, but you can see there, Aspect Tech, uh, designed for you, and then their phone number. And then once again, right here, a nice little picture of the uh, bug zapper along with the uh, two, bul two extra bulbs. Um, on the side here, we have a label. There's that if you want to take a look at that once again. There you go. Now this box, this was actually the box that I got in the mail. So it wasn't shipped in like a normal Amazon box or anything like that. Um, I believe if you order it directly off of Amazon, it would be. But um, that's why the box is a little bit, uh, well, torn up is because it's just, this box was, the box itself was shipped in the mail. So um, it's been tossed around and stuff. Anyways, you can see up here on the top, Aspect Tech, once again, indoor insect killer, 20 watts uh, with two tubes. Um, same thing on this side. And then on the front, this is where all the labels and stuff were, which I ripped off. I don't want you to go, want you guys to find out where I live. Uh, so there's that, that's why it's all torn up. Basically the same thing on the front as there was on the back. So let's go and open this thing up. Now this is a relatively big box. So I'm gonna try my best to get this on frame. It's going to cut the tape here and it felt like it was actually already cut on this side. Once again, this box didn't arrive in that great of condition. That's not the company's fault. It's uh, simply um, UPS's fault or whoever delivered this. So there we are. And you can see on the top here is the insect killer along with a user manual, I would assume. Okay, yeah, so basically a user manual. I'm going to show you here. You can see their specifications. Killing voltage, 2,800 volts, wow. Uh, power, 20 vo or twenty watts, input voltage, and so on. And once again, here it is. Address and stuff for Aspect Tech. So there's that and how to replace the bulbs. Safety and maintenance. How to use and so on. So there's that. So let's go and actually get into the product now. So just showing you guys the user manual there. Come on. Get out, there we are. Honestly, kind of heavy. There it is right there, along with the uh, two extra bulbs in the box right here. So let's go and set the big box off to the side. And actually there's a little chain in here too. So you can hang it from like a roof or something. So there's that, pretty cool. All right, let's go and get into it. So once again, here's the chain, um, along with the uh, two bulbs right here, which I'll go and open up just to show you guys that they are in here just for proof. And yep, you can see right there, they're in a bunch of wrapping obviously to keep them safe, but there is in fact uh, two bulbs there. So yes, it did come with the two bulbs. I was expecting that obviously. Um, and here is the uh, insect killer in bubble wrapping. Take it out here and here it is. So feels like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's made from metal. It might just, it's probably just aluminum, but it's still metal, metal either way. Uh, you can see there how to use it, I guess. Unplug product before cleaning. Yeah, obviously you don't want to zap yourself. Uh, there's that. And then on the front here, power switch, Aspect Tech designed for you. Uh, yeah, so there it is. Um, here's your little bug tray here, which it's zip tied in right now. I'm gonna cut those in a minute. So there's that, obviously you take this tray out to uh, throw away the dead flies or whatever is getting killed in this thing. Uh, so there's that. So I guess what I'm gonna go and do now is I go and get all these zip ties undone and go in and plug this thing in for a few hours and go in and see how many bugs it gets. All right, so it is now the next day and what I went ahead and did is put this thing outside here on the uh, covered porch for 
I would say three or four hours in total. And keep in mind, this thing is meant to be used indoors, okay? It worked perfectly fine outdoors, obviously, but this thing isn't water resistant or anything like that. So if you're gonna be using it outside, at least make sure it's not gonna be in the rain and get snowed on, stuff like that. If you're gonna use it outside, at least have it on a uh, like a covered porch like we did. Um, although it's mainly meant to be used inside, you probably can use it on a covered porch as long as it doesn't get wet. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the results here. And you can see we have multiple dead bugs. Um, I would say these are like mosquitoes, but I definitely don't think they are. So they're like little, uh, I, I want to say little flies. I really don't know what these are called. Uh, but you can see we got a good amount of them right here. A bunch. As you can tell, once again, in about a four hour period during the night. Um, and then there's a few here stuck in the grates and stuff. So it did definitely work and I would say it worked pretty good. There was also a few, uh, little dead ones around here and they are not, they are not here anymore. Okay. So some, some probably ate them like heck an ant or something like that. Um, but anyways, you can see there, it did definitely get a bunch and I would say it worked pretty well. So, uh, there's that. So seems so far, once again, pretty good um what i'm gonna go and do now is i'm gonna give you guys my final opinions and i'm also gonna turn this thing on just to show you guys uh what it looks like so i'll go in and do that now all right so the bug zapper is now plugged in and i'm gonna go and turn it on here the switch is right on the front and there you go you can see it's working now don't look into these uh beams here uh they can't hurt your eyes i'm just looking through the uh phone screen so it's not gonna hurt me if i look through there and I'm gonna go and turn it off here. Um, so that, well, I guess we actually just leave it on for the final opinions. Uh, but anyways, there it is. So I'm gonna go and give you guys my final opinions now. So overall, what do I think of this bug zapper? I would honestly say this thing seems pretty good. Um, once again, as you guys could tell, we definitely got really good assortment of uh, bugs and gnats, and mosquitoes, I suppose. Um, even though you're not gonna have mosquitoes in a, almost December at this point. Um, but anyways, overall, I would say it did a pretty good job at this stuff. Now this is outside. Um, if you did this in like a kitchen or somewhere, you would mainly be using this thing. Um, it's gonna catch a lot less bugs because there's obviously gonna be more bugs outside than there would be inside. But either way, it still did a really good job and I really like that it comes with those uh, two extra bulbs. It's really helpful in case either of these uh, burn out, you just Simply, I would assume I take off this grate. It probably shows how in the user manual. And I uh, just swap the bulbs in, and just like that, you're uh, making your house cleaner, I suppose. Um, but yeah, so there's that. So once again, overall, if you're looking for, it seems to be a pretty good bug zapper. I do definitely recommend this thing here, made by Aspect Tech. So uh, yeah, I guess that's really it for this video. Hope everybody enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.